number two, Bravo Uniform Echo. November 2, Bravo Uniform Echo, Roger. Bravo Uniform Echo, Roger. Roger, Roger, Jim. How you doing? The name here is Ron, Romeo Oscar November. I'm in the state of New Jersey. In the name of Jersey, you're 10 over 9, over. All right, Ron, and I just went to my local antenna. You also are 10 over 9. What radio are you running today, sir? Icon 7300 and uh, going through a AL80B 500 watt to an inverted V cup for uh, 40. But the, uh, the Apex is I'm only at 20 feet right now. And uh, it just, so the antenna is kind of in the, the low position. So, but anyhow, you sound good. I just thought I'd check in. And I uh, hadn't talked to you in a while. So I figure I'd say hi. Over. Uh, Roger, Ron, where well, your radio sounds excellent. I wish I had more of it, but uh, that's a product of Mother Nature. I, I did uh, wind up on my local antenna, which uh, my local radio, and uh, uh, I do have uh, a much better, uh, well, better audio than the uh, uh, SDRs. Uh, the SDRs tend to roll off on the bottom end, whereas uh, my radio is pretty flat down to uh, 100 cycles or so. So uh, uh, there you go. But And you're sounding good. I just, like I say, I wish I had more signal, Roger. Yeah, I can understand that, Jim. But like I say, my antenna is down. I have been away for a while. I've been away for a couple of months. Just got home the other day and getting ready to leave again, so I did not... Uh, put the antenna up to where it normally is at the uh, 35 foot, 40 foot, uh, yeah, position. So uh, I have an RV and I go RVing, so we're getting ready to leave and on uh, Monday, so I didn't bother putting anything up. And uh, well, so that's why the signal's down a little bit, but heck, we're still making a contact and that's what counts. So I just thought I'd check in with you. And I'll say 73 and let you make a contact with someone else. Hey, good to hear you out there, Jim. So Ron from New Jersey says, uh, take care, and I'll talk to you again. kc 9 and 2 B U H. Roger, Roger, Ron. Well, Mother Nature was uh, nice uh, right at the end there, and uh, she uh, gave you a, a 15 over. <laughs> so uh, there you go. And uh, yes, on the RVs, uh, we are working on uh, converting uh, uh, an ambulance, uh, uh, older ambulance, uh, to an RV, and I am uh, designing the interior myself. Uh, it's uh, it's a labor of love, and uh, I hopefully, um, you know, this is. Um, uh, 350 uh, 7.3 diesel and uh, gosh <laughs> I have to have a ladder to get up to the engine Roger oh hey Roger Roger Jim well good luck with that re re we'll restore the uh, ambulance into an RV uh, I bet that's a really a great project and uh, uh, hopefully everything goes smoothly with you and when you get that done it will probably be uh, really something to look at. So hopefully uh, you'll be able to put some pictures on YouTube up with that uh, re re uh, re uh, re restore of that uh, RV. That's, that's neat, Jim. Over. Roger. Well, you know, it, uh, unfortunately, I haven't shot any video. It's, it's just I've been working so hard in doing it that I just don't have time to actually uh, uh, shoot a video of it. You know, it's just uh, uh, one thing after another. But uh, we're, we're coming along, and uh, I would say in another uh, uh, few weeks, uh, we'll have it uh, ready for a test drive. Roger? Hey, Roger, Jim. Very good. Yeah, well, I'm just curious... Uh what type of motor? What's the engine in that uh, that uh, 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 restore you're doing? Uh, it's a 350 uh, 7.3 uh, diesel. Oh, okay. Very good. So, uh, and what's your uh, plans when you're finished with it? Is it going to be for uh, doing uh, 
remote communications, or are you going to be doing some RV traveling? Well, maybe a little bit of both, uh, maybe simultaneous. Uh, we've got it uh, set up. Uh, they had a 750-watt uh, inverter, and uh, we put a 2,000-watt uh, running 2000 watt uh, inverter in it and uh, uh, so far all the wiring seems to uh, to be able to handle the um, uh, the uh, 2000 watts uh, although it was uh, set up for 750 but uh, you know the these guys uh, they just uh, overrate everything they do in those ambulances that has a 160 amp um, uh, alternator I believe Hey, very good. Uh, sounds like a, it's going to be a nice setup. Have you thought about putting any solar panels on it? Uh, no, I don't think solar can keep up with it. Uh, I think I'll be using probably a, a, a 2,000 watt uh, um, inverter generator, Roger. Yeah, okay. Very good. Yeah, well, I guess you can put enough solar panels on the out there and we can keep up with the uh, what you need. But it sounds like you got everything under control, and it sounds like a very good project. And uh, I can understand what you're saying when you're doing the work that uh, you don't have time to take photos, videos, or someone else that would be able to, you know, take a video or take a few uh, pictures as you uh, get the project going on. Over. Roger, Roger. Well, I, you know, it's uh, one of those things that's uh, going to keep me busy, keep me out of trouble, I guess. <laughs> it's just like uh, uh, this the last week or two just passed by because uh, I've been spending most of my time uh, working on that. And uh, gosh, it just, uh, you know, uh, the whole idea is to, to uh, you know, when you don't have an actual blueprint, you're coming along with it uh, on your own uh, design. It takes a it takes a little while to, uh, uh, you know. Matter of fact, our uh, our sink area and our cooking area has swapped five or six times back and forth. But now I've got the sink in, so it's not going to swap anymore. <laughs> okay, Jim. Very good. My dogs are, something got them spooked and they're out there barking right now. So, yeah, very good. Well, good luck with the project. I'm sure you're going to enjoy the heck out of it once it's done. I I had gave you a call a few weeks ago. I was out, like I said, I was on an RV. We was in there. And I had, um, I heard you on a Friday. I gave you a call, but I was only running like 90 watts. And uh, you did you did hear me, and you did come back to me, but we could not, uh, we didn't have a good copy on each other. I was using a, a pair of Hustler resonators in a horizontal position at about 23 foot at the height. But uh, you did hear me, and you said you you could hear me, and uh, but we couldn't carry on. So... But I enjoy the heck out of RV, and it's always a challenge when you're uh, trying to communicate and make a contact uh, when you're RVing antenna-wise. But anyway, very good. Good to hear you today. Copy's been up very, very good. At, uh, you're staying 9, S9, 10 over, no problem at all. So, okay, Jim, 73, I'll let you can make a, getting close to 5 o'clock here. I'm sure someone else will want to uh, make a contact with you. Take care. KC9, VKV, and 2, BUE. Roger, Roger, Ron, and you were consistent uh, 10 over, 10 dB over my noise level. That last transmission, just just beautiful. So uh, let me say threes to you up there and enjoy your RVing, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to join you guys out there in the next uh, couple of weeks when we get things uh, uh, a little bit more together. So uh, threes for now, and uh, if you want to, hear, again, hear your uh, uh, great audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, uh, that will take you to our QSO Vlog page, and uh, you'll be looking for an air check entitled My Group Air Check 8720 today's date My Group Air Check 8 
720. So three's uh, Ron, and uh, we'll catch you later. This is KC9 VKV, the Friday afternoon Kiso Vlog Net. Uh, we have uh, five minutes uh, till five. We're turning into a pumpkin at five, so if uh, somebody wants to get an air check, uh, better grab it now. <laughs>